Then Jesus told them, before the night's over, you're going to fall to pieces because of what happens to me. There's a scripture that says, I'll strike the shepherd, dazed and confused, the sheep will be scattered. But after I'm raised up, I, your shepherd, will go ahead of you, leading the way to Galilee. Peter broke in, even if everyone else falls to pieces on account of you, I won't. Don't be so sure, Jesus said. This very night before the rooster crows up the dawn, you will deny me three times. Peter protested, even if I had to die with you, I would never deny you. All the others said the same thing. Then Jesus went with them to a garden called Gethsemane, and he told his disciples, stay here while I go over there and pray. So taking along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he plunged into an agonizing sorrow. Then he said, this sorrow is crushing my life out. Stay here and keep vigil with me. Going a little ahead, he fell on his face praying, my father, if there's any way, get me out of this. But please, not what I want, but what you want. When he came back to his disciples, he found them sound asleep. He said to Peter, can't you stick out with me a single hour? Stay alert, be in prayer so you don't wander into temptation without even knowing you're in danger. There's a part of you that is eager, ready for anything in God, but there's another part that's as lazy as an old dog sleeping by the fire. He then left them a second time. Again, he prayed, my father, if there is no other way than this, by drinking this cup to the dregs, I'm ready. So do it your way. When he came back, he again found them sound asleep. They simply couldn't keep their eyes open. This time he let them sleep on and went back a third time to pray, going over the same ground one last time. And when he came back the next time, he said, are you gonna sleep on and make a night of it? My time is up. The Son of Man is about to be handed over to the hands of sinners. Get up, let's get going. My betrayer is here. <laughs>